Wait a minute. What? Look. What? David's car. Oh, it's gone? Well, I know it's gone. That's why I asked you to look. The question is, where's it gone? I don't think it's been stolen. Sarah, have you seen it? No. Daryl! Oh, have you seen David's car? Um. No. He's not taking it anywhere. I don't know. Look, nobody's going to get into trouble. I just want to know where it is. And I don't know where it is. Honestly? Honestly? Why has it been nicked? Well, I don't know. Are you sure you don't know anything? Well, I haven't touched it. Piece of chocolate. Well, look, let's all get inside anyway. Come on, everybody. Ooh, quick. Thank you, Daryl. My pleasure, ladies. Oh, quickly, quickly. If it's not been stolen, he's out there somewhere driving about. But try his phone again. He's not answering. He's not old enough to drive. He's not insured either. But maybe he's taking a mate with him. Or maybe he's doing this on purpose to get you worried. You know he likes to be centre of attention. Has he said anything to you, Sarah? Oh, it always comes back to David, doesn't it? Every time. I'm getting married tomorrow. And everybody's talking about David. Oh, lovey, come here. Now, listen, nobody or nothing is going to spoil your big day. Why don't you go and open that bottle of wine? Doing OK? Yeah, thank you. Okay. If I ring the police, I could end up getting David into trouble again. Yes, well, he won't fight you for that. I don't want to spoil Sarah's day, but you know what happened last time he went off. <laughs> <laughs>